Okay, folks, we're looking at question one. 1.1 is always the solving of equations in the department's paper. So your tip here is always expect to find equations that you can solve in section one. Okay, so let's see what they are asking. They're saying to us in 1.1 solve for x. In 1.1.1, the equation they're giving us is x squared minus 6x equals 0. Now, folks, let's go to the sketchboard. You've got to remember certain things. When you solve a quadratic, it has to be in standard form. In other words, it's got to be in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals naught. So the one side of that equation must be zero and everything else should be on the left hand side. Okay, then the second thing is count the terms. In this particular question, we have only two terms given. Now that makes it a much, much easier question because if there's two terms, it is usually a common factor that you need to remove. So if it's a common factor, it would be of the form ax squared plus bx equal to naught. So we can remove the x. If not, it's something to the form of x squared minus b squared possibly, which means it's still two terms, but there's no x. There's a squared term um, at the front, an x squared, and there could be a b squared, which could be any number, but you need to then use your difference of squares. In this case, we're going to solve for x by removing the common factor of x. x taken out of x squared leaves us with bracket x. If we remove from minus 6x and x, it leaves us with minus 6. That is equal to naught. Therefore, we can say, now remember this. I'm going to put it under the tips so you don't forget it. If you have a multiplied by b, which is naught, you only need one of a or b to be zero for the product to be naught. That is why we say a is naught or b is naught. They don't both have to be naught. So this is what we've got. We've got x multiplied by x minus 6 in the bracket. So either x is naught or the x minus 6 will be naught, which then means that x has to be 6. The x transposes to the right. Now I like to underline my answers with a little arrowhead so that the examiner can see that that is the final answer to my question. So I like doing that. Some people highlight it so that it's visible as an answer. You do whatever you like. Okay, so remember this is a two mark question. It should not take you longer than two minutes to answer this question.